Hello everybody, uh, JD and Zeriris here and what I wanted to show you here in this video is a uh, a new amplifier I just received from uh, Kerry KC5GTT uh, out of Bourne, Texas and this is a 70 centimeter a GS31 tube amplifier that basically run about uh, about between 950 and a kilowatt depending upon your drive level we've got uh, a warm-up light it's got a timer of course the light goes off when it's warmed up transmit light standby operate switch and then you've got your power and light switch and you got to your plate and then you've got your grid up here you've got uh, two meters right now we're showing right at around uh, 20 2800 on the plate and you got your single tune knob and if anybody's uh, familiar with the uh, discovery amplifiers you'll see the same setup the input uh, tune and the load is on the bottom Kerry pretty much presets them at, uh, at his house and they shouldn't need any adjustment but they're on the bottom of the uh, chassis and they've got to be uh, adjusted with a, uh, a non-metal uh, type screwdriver but uh, this one here came in fine and I've got a uh, a watt meter uh, monitoring between the transceiver and the amplifier for the input side and we've got a uh, coaxial dynamics uh, meter here with a uh, 2500 watt bird slug at it uh, for peak reading shut that off here's the top of the tube got a nice airflow across it with the uh, fan that he's got uh, in it that runs continuous on the back we've got your antenna uh, input uh, transceiver and you've got fuses for your various uh, power supplies etc and he's also vented uh, the back of the uh, cabinet and you can see just a little bit of the uh, toroid uh, transformer and this is its uh, mount point right here and then of course you've got your, uh, your key line as well and this is uh, in a uh, powder coated case nice uh, nice color dark blue royal blue try to back up here a shot to get an idea how just how big it is pretty good size uh, amplifier and we'll go ahead and show you what it'll do uh, I do in the bird okay we're gonna power up uh, the amp Warm up light. Of course, there's nothing showing on the uh, plate. Okay, and we got voltage on the uh, plate. We're running right about uh, 20, 27, 28, and our warm up light's off. And we'll go ahead and get in uh, FM mode. Turn the volume down a little bit so it don't drive you batty. And let's see, we're going to show uh, output wattage. And at about uh, 50, 55 watts. 55 watts out. Going to put this in. Operate. Flip the peak meter up. Reading the top scale, and of course that's uh, about at a thousand watts there. About 900 watts on uh, key, dead key on FN. We're doing voice peaks here. Hello, test, hello, test. N0 IRS testing 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2. But at about 950 on peaks out of a, a single GS31 tube. Show you what we're showing down here on, the, on grid and in plate. Hello, testing 1, 2, 1, 2. One, two, 
One, two. One, two. Hello. N0 IRS. Test one, two. One, two. I'm going to do FM mode. Got HF going on in the background there. Showing around about uh, 900 on the grid. I had about 2400 on the watt meter. Showing up just below 900. Well, that's uh, that sums up really the operation of the amplifier. Pretty straightforward to anybody that's been around a tube amplifier a while. And. Uh, very good, uh, very good output. Uh, of course, the amp is made in the United States, so that's a uh, that's key as well. And it won't cost you an arm and a leg what they they cost overseas. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it. To find out more about KC5 GTT amplifiers, availability, and pricing, visit Kerry's website on the web at www.kc5gtt.com. Thanks for watching.